Hi, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a cream of soup base. So let's get going. So we have a large family, and it's always nice to have some prepared uh, meals or starter meals ready to go for those last second uh, not planned out events kind of thing. And, and one of the things that we like to have on hand all the time is our cream of soup base. Uh, because you can always easily make it into a potato soup or a vegetable soup or a cream of mushroom soup very easily. All you do then is add your main ingredient, but you need the soup base to do that. So I'm going to show you how we put together our soup base, which is very easy, very cost effective, and is super tasty. So basically what we have here is seven ingredients. We've got powdered milk, four cups of powdered milk. We've got a cup and a half of cornstarch. We have got two tablespoons of minced dried onion. We've got one tablespoon of thyme, one tablespoon of basil. What we have over here is a half cup of um, uh, chicken bouillon mix. Now here's the thing, this is important. When you go to buy your chicken bouillon mix, it's just the powdered stuff, look at the label. A lot of them have uh, MSG in them and you don't want that. Some do not, you have to be very, very careful in looking at the label to make sure you're not getting the MSG version. And then we also have one tablespoon of just regular old black powder. And to be honest, this, this could not be any easier. This is it, this is all, you, all it is. You just mix it all up and then you're ready to store it on the shelf or if we're thinking long-term storage, we'll vacuum seal some or sometimes we'll just go ahead and pre-package different soups We'll throw noodles in there and some dried vegetables and uh, you know vacuum seal them. They're good for years. And then all you gotta do is pull it down and throw it in some boiling water and you're great to go. So all we do is mix it up. So basically here's my dried milk, four cups of dried milk, my cup and a half of cornstarch. Get all that in there. Handy dandy whisk. Onions, basil and thyme, bouillon, check the label, make sure it's not MSG, and your black pepper. Now you just mix it up, you're good to go. Now I will not just use this for soups only. Uh, every once in a while we'll want a hamburger helper style meal and to get that creamy sauce going, we'll use some of this instead of, you know, busting out a a can of cream of celery or cream of mushroom. All you've got to do is put about a cup of this into your, into your ground beef or whatever it is that you're making with your noodles and this will flavor it up right now really, really nicely and you're not dealing with any nasty chemicals or all the garbage they put in those soups, that, the canned soups to keep them shelf stable. It's just this stuff right here. That's all it is. Cream of soup mix, you put in whatever main ingredient you want, whether it's mushrooms or corn or whatever. And basically what you do is you put in one third cup of the mix to one and one quarter cup of water if you're going for that soup consistency. Now keep in mind, like I said, I use it for uh, a creamy thickener for other things, lots of other things, everything from hamburger helper on down. And all you do is just add it into your desired uh, consistency and flavor is reached. So uh, once again, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead. If you like the video, please don't forget to click the subscribe. It really, really helps the family out, helps us keep making videos that hopefully are of some value to you. And uh, well, have yourself a great day.